Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today I wanted to show you how you can easily install a Synology 3622XS Plus. As you can see, we have one, one working Synology already configured, and I have added it to my domain. But I wanted to configure another one as a backup. So let's first dive in into the uh, Tiny Core Red Pill project. As you, you can check it out here on GitHub under this um, uh, website. And you get here the releases and the newest release, at least at the moment, at the moment is. Uh, 9.4.3 so the setup for the virtual machine that I'm gonna be using here is it as follows so I got like 8 gigs of RAM I got two disks they, that had the same capacity because I wanted to do RAID 1 on them and also I need to add an additional disk which is the VMDK from the newest release so I'm gonna have to download this one And apart from that, uh, here in the web configuration, we will need to change the MAC address to a specific one, not just some random MAC address. So maybe I will do it like this for now. I will open the MAC address. Let's just put it in. Okay. I'm gonna save it. And since this is finishing. Let's go here, let's unpack it, we, here we got our VMDK, so now I'm just gonna add the VMDK, and of course we need to change the uh, SATA ports. So the VMDK needs to be on top, and then all the disks. Okay, so everything is set up. So we can start. So this is the newest release of uh, Tiny Core. I think this one was. Uh, 9.4.0 because this is the newest one so a little bit different okay so first of all 
Okay, I'm done. RP loader. I'm gonna create this area also. Okay, I will check once again. Let's check here. And the release. Let's check the code. No, sorry, I forgot about this. So It's going to be, of course, SH. Yes. And then we're going to do, of course, build. So we're going to need to take a specific build. Okay, so let's uh, take a look what kind of build we're gonna use, and uh, I think we're gonna use uh, this one. So we're gonna use this build. So we're gonna do RP loader, sh build. DS3622 XSP 7.1.1 42 9 6 2 Okay So that's gonna take a moment. When it finishes, I'm gonna resume the video. Okay, so <clears throat> the installation has been completed. As you can see, everything checks out to be okay. So now we can restart everything. I'm gonna choose option two. Let's let it load. And now we will need to go to point synology.com. And we're gonna be sent to the web assistant. And here we have our Synology NAS. So this is the DSM version. Now we're going to install the required DSM. So, if I remember correctly, I have downloaded 
from uh, Synology. Synology download server. So let's check here. It's not nice. We should do some DS3622. So it's version 7.1.1, all downloads, and uh, this is the download we are actually looking for. We are looking for 36. And this is our download. So Synology, Broadwell, NK. I have already downloaded this. So now we're gonna just wait until the DSM is loaded. Okay, so let's let's check because probably yeah, it has not enough megs, so I need to download this again. I need to check because maybe I have it already because I got this one and uh, most probably it's this one okay so I'm gonna download this so let's go to the web assistant because this was the smaller pack this is the huge pack So as you can see, you can choose different DSMs here. Of course, we are going for this version because this is the build that we're uh, actually uh, we are preparing for um, when we run uh, this uh, red pill tiny core. just close all of those websites and now we just need to wait until the DSM restarts so I'm gonna be back after this clock runs out okay so we're back so we can now continue with our installation so let's uh, choose a name Of course, we're going to choose the first option here. So 
skip this. And there we go. We can now create our right one. By selecting two disks. I'm gonna skip the initial disk scan. Maximum size. BT RFS. And there we go. So I'm just going to go to region. I'm going to choose the initial English language. And our synology is ready. So basically, I have now two synologies, one as a base one and the other one as a backup one that I wanted to make. So of course now I can also add this synology, this backup synology to my domain because this one is already added. So. how to add uh, this uh, Synology to a domain and many other things regarding Synology that I wanted to talk about I'm gonna show in the next video so stay tuned if you like the video a like subscribe and of course I will see you in the next one